Hey folks, welcome back to this edition of Ben's Bits. We're continuing our series from last week's video about a quick fix or the right fit and how it affects investing for what matters to you. And today we're going to be covering the differences between owning a portfolio and owning a business. There's a stark difference as it concerns to your portfolio and its investment needs. Now, before you say, Ben, I don't have a business. Understand the intent behind the statement. What we're really talking about is passive income in a portfolio and owning traditional real estate in a business. The major takeaway as we discuss this and the thought process behind it is this. What is the main purpose of a particular investment? And is it congruent with our investing needs? So Ben, how does this affect me? Well, that's a great question because most people look at a portfolio the same way they do a business. And that's a big mistake. Here's a perspective you may want to consider. By owning a portfolio in the truest sense of the intent behind the concept, your portfolio should be providing all the cash flow you need and more and replenishing itself at the same time with very limited involvement on your part. Whereas a business, even outsourcing to management companies, has an element of oversight that's needed to keep it running at peak performance. For instance, I was talking to uh, or speaking to a, an investor couple the other day, the day before yesterday, and they exemplify this ideology. While they, they didn't have an exorbitant amount of assets, they had a small sampling of the traditional investments, uh, rentals, flips, multifamily. See, they wanted a portfolio, but what they had was a business because they weren't completely removed at the operational level. And if they walk away for an extended amount of time, what would happen to their business? Even though they had property management in place and the business produced enough income for them to go on a trip, they still couldn't walk away completely for an extended amount of time, which is what a portfolio would allow them to do. So, that's it for this edition of Ben's Bits. Join us next week as we discuss why avoiding herd mentality may be the best decision you can make concerning your portfolio. We'll see you next time.